Williams. Number one seed, Christina Pearson and Camilla Arudio up against Imogen Bankia and Petia Nedelchev, the number four seeds. So the introductions from our MC complete, and the players will just get themselves settled and they start their warm up. service judge so before we begin the players change ends obviously the Danes want to start the far side of the courts and both the Danish players uh, both guaranteed at least two bronze medals in these European championships because they're both in the mixed doubles semi-finals to be played tonight. Tonight's session, of course, starting six o'clock local time. But they will be concentrating 100% at the moment on defending their women's doubles title. Camilla Rotiul, the tall left-hander, 30 years of age, from Skagen, which is right in the north of North Jutland. Number one seats. Their world ranking has gone down to number three. They had spent 25 weeks as world number twos until a couple of weeks ago. Their win-loss record for the year, one final. That was uh, the last Super Series event they played, the Singapore Super Series. And you can see from their matches so far, Ushka Bayrat and Nestle Han Yit of Turkey in the first round. That was just 23 minutes against Gabby Adcock and Lauren Smith of England in the quarter final. Well, only 31 minutes, so they've been in great form. Now, as far as the tall Camilla Arutu is concerned, she's guaranteed her seventh and eighth European Championship medals here this week because part of this this tournament should won six medals four of them gold two golds in women's doubles two golds in mixed doubles women's doubles her first one in 2008 with Nina Freya Christiansen so to the mixed nationality pair there they are number four seats and number 26 in the world are ranking down five places. The number four seeds. Korea win loss record indicates that they only formed their partnership last year, just over a year they've been playing together. And in that year, they've reached six finals, winning four titles. In fact, four titles last year and one this year. French international this year. And at that French international, Imogen back here also won the mixed doubles with Robert Blair, so that was a particularly Ladies and gentlemen, good tournament for her. On my right, Christina Peterson, Camilla Iterul, Denmark. <laughs> On my left, Imogen Bank here, Scotland, Petia Nedeljeva, Bulgaria. So the defending champions, number one seeds, Christina Peterson and Camilla Rotiul, 
in the semi-final underway against the number four seeds Imogen Bankia and Petia Nedelchera. First meeting between these two pairs. Not altogether surprising considering this pair in the final only formed their partnership a little over One, a year ago go. and they've tended to play the international challenger events rather than the super series. Highly successful they've been too. Now, all four players on court have medalled at European Championships previously. Perfect oh. image on back here, who plays the most magnificent drop shot there. Well, this will be oh. her first ever women's doubles medal because bank here two years ago when the event was staged in Carl's Krona she won a bronze medal in the mixed doubles with Chris Adcock the Dunchula won a silver medal in the women's doubles in 2010 in Manchester playing with Anastasia Ruska from Russia nationality pairing. Yvette Long, Scottish coach. Oh. Mm. Not best of size, but what it deserved. One, three. And there's Kenneth Jonasson, former world number two in singles player, former European champion. He won the gold medal at the European Championships 2008 in his home city of Herning in Denmark. No oh, lucky net cord. Two, four. Ruta Yul. What a versatile player she's been over the years. Oh! In fact, Lee Dolcher is the only player on court Six, that hasn't won a two. World Championship medal in mixed doubles. She's, I don't think I've ever seen her play mixed doubles actually, no Dilchma. Very fine singles player thing. Three times a quarter finalist at these European Championships in women's singles. Really nice semi finalist, Olympic quarter finalist. In fact, winner of 26 women's singles titles throughout her career. that far side of the court as we look down where the Danes are playing from at the moment. There's a real tendency for the shuttle to get caught with the drift 
Let me take a long. So, so well. oh, I'm Seven, four. This certainly wasn't in the script. Danes were the overwhelming favourites. Oh, that's a wonderful interception by Imogen Bankia. 26 year old from Glasgow in Scotland. They're a little older at the age of 30. So, so Five. Start nine. Zagora, her place of birth. Saw that Bankia was weighted, committed to the backhand defence, aimed it down the forehand side. Good judgment. It's gone long. Seven. Oh, it was most extraordinary Nine. defensive shot earlier on in that rally from the Nedel Chava. Finish it off. Obviously, with her trying to smash across court there, the hope was that it was going to be a straight reply had it come back, and therefore it would have come up to her left handed partner's forehand side. So, so Eight. to see if the Danes really try and change up their tactics here because so far they've had to react and not for out to what they were planning to do rather than them commanding the rallies and dictating the pace. And both the Danish players such fine front court players, which is why they've both enjoyed so much success in the mixed doubles. But they're really not able to get the front player involved at the moment. Yeah, yeah. This is 
Of all the disciplines, all five disciplines in badminton, coming into these European Championships, if, was, if I had to have made a prediction on a gold medal in one of the five, I think I would have put my money on the Danes in the women's doubles. So it's over. Nine, Isn't this the beauty of sport? You just never know what's going to happen. medalists at World Championships last year. Danish combination. First Danish women's doubles pair to medal at the World Championships for 10 years. So she does flip between there and Denmark where she plays in the Danish league. Six point advantage. Who would have predicted that? doubles became very negative it was all about the defensive play now it's all about the attacking play much much nicer to watch and much more dynamic much more exciting to watch Landing in front of the rear court player. Uh, we talk about that a lot in doubles, that mid court area, the effectiveness of playing it there. Yeah. Thank you, trying to do the same to her opponents. from a sporting family does Imogen Bankia her father Ian is chairman of Celtic Football Club champions of the Scottish League once again Celtic to know where your opponent is defending either defending backhand in which case you've got to hit it down the forehand side or to the right hip oh mm, there are two errors coming through there's lots of yes to me but they are nervous 19, 
bow. Eight game point opportunities to be precise. Hmm, what happened there? Is a racket broken? Game! Uh, the racket was broken. to turn up in the opening game. Number four seeds taking the opening game against the defending champions and taking it really rather easily. One love. That's a good serve. I think everybody had stopped. I thought she'd been leaving. Oh.
nerves at the moment, the defending champions. It's going wide. So it's over. Three all. Oh, that's a nice little smile to each other. Come on, keep going, they say. Oh, two Danish coach. Coach is looking a little bit concerned. Some disarray. Short of the front service line. Five. Five. She goes straight off to talk to the umpire. Morrison and Jesper Larson are not happier with that rally. into the lead. to see from the Danes. Tension in the forearm, just causing the error.
for angle rather than power you could see the shovel landing in front of bank here yeah i think it may have been a little bit of a miss hit but danish coaches delighted nonetheless Coaches always tell their players to focus on the first three shots of the rally. I'm sure that's been said for one of the pairs. from Pedersen. Pedersen who's serving is number one seed in both women's doubles and the next doubles. That's a very good time to serve. Hey, Kirti! Got that well. Good angle. And 11 BBC Scotland Sports Personality of the Year was thank you. It was after the silver medal at the World Championships. Stubbles with Chris Adcock. Oh! Followed in the likes of Andy Murray, who is Olympic. Champion and Wimbledon champion, of course, winner of the US Open as well in tennis, and Sir Chris Hoy, winner of three gold medals in Beijing, got six gold medals in Tokyo. So we can follow on from the next level in the coming weeks. Scotland sports personality of the year. Eight, eight, eight. Well, 
well deserved too. Sometimes a little tantalising and can be a lot more difficult than it looks to put that on without touching the net. Oh. 17, 9. Reversal in fortunes is down to the difference in names. does go into a third and deciding game the start to the decider will be absolutely crucial the difference in the game seems to be making a huge difference in this game as well as the rest of the game this is actually the same way we've got the game for this one's going to be games as players struggle from one end of the court interestingly the end that players struggle from in singles is quite often different to the end that doubles players struggle from Opportunities to level this semi final at one game apiece. Yeah, once again, the Danes just smile at each other and say, Don't panic. Still got another eight opportunities.
So the umpire calls for final game. Everything is waiting for. And of course, with the European Championships only being a biannual event, once every two years, opportunities for a few and far between. Right. Treasure the European Championship and the opportunity to win medals. So that the reply comes up to her forehand side and there Pedia and her Delcheva. Just livid at her side of the match. She knows about that. Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! Come on! So they don't to take too long between the rallies. Mm. Well, Dane's just saying there's a slight injury there. That's the reason for the delay. Sides on the attack. Final smash. Down on the Dutchover's forehand side, having used the channel attack. The channel attack down the centre of the court in between the two players. That's very clever. out of nothing. And also very much in favour of the adventurous style of play. It's almost coming across as desperation rather than inspiration. That's the big difference, isn't it? Margins between success and failure are absolutely tiny. All those were working in the open game. Now yeah, they're just missing. Point cushion. Seven. 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 
Jones. Mm, that's lovely. shots and she was already off the mark going forward to the net before shot had even been played Players are extremely focused. Doesn't bother them. Just get on with the match. Tennis players could learn a thing or two from the badminton players, I think. No! Attempted winners almost off the turn of serve, trying to make it so tight the net shot, making the error. This match is beginning to slip away from Bankia and Nedelchula. Suspects that the defending champions Christina Pearson and Camilla Ordeal will just build on this advantage. after the change of ends. And if you can do that, you set the tone for the rest of the match. The psychology of a top player. Thirteen, five. 
sides too, two points since the change of ends. Yeah. So they're all looking a little bit worried right now. from this position now the number four seats can come back things appear now to be in full flow mm. the return of service negative the lift oh. Oh. So to the lift. two such strong powerful attacking athletes as Pedersen and route to you. a run of six straight points from 10-5. Surprised virtually everybody in the stadium apart from themselves. Well, oh, that's good. good yeah. 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 And only three points needed for a second consecutive European Championship final. Suspects. That's it there from the left hander. Service over, 720.
Oh, that's well wide. Congratulations in the final, and uh, took a little bit of time maybe just to figure out picture and, and image and as a pair. Yeah, it uh, took a little longer time than uh, what we expected, uh, but uh, they played good in the first, and we didn't play that good, uh, so a uh, bad combination for us, but uh, I think we found uh, the right way to play them in the second place. But looking at it, Camilla, probably nice to get a game against a really good pair like this in, in preparation for a final. Of course, it, is, uh, it was a really good match for us. Uh, it's, it's always uh, a challenge when, when we have a start like we had today. So it's also nice to see that we can recognize what is going on, what can we change. And uh, I think we did that really, really good today. And, and of course, uh, now we are better prepared for tomorrow. We can certainly see the body language between you. A little bit nervous at the beginning, but by the end, there were smiles on the board and you, you were enjoying it. Six 